over here. And then, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another 3D Hangouts. We're back. My name is Noah Ruiz. I'm a designer here at Adafruit. Hopefully, my mic is turned on. Pedro is here, too. What's going on, everybody? I'm Pedro Ruiz, creative tech here at Adafruit. And every week, we come to share 3D printed projects featuring electronics from Adafruit. Yeah. Line. <laughs> I forgot it. This is the show where we combine 3D printing and DIY electronics to make inspirational projects. For you folks and we're back in 2020 we've been gone for about i don't know five weeks we, we, we didn't go anywhere <laughs> yeah as you've seen the projects time lapse tuesdays and show and tell has yeah. continued every single week right we even. did have a break from the show and it was uh, very relaxing um, we got to focus on on some family time and some kind of side projects as well mm -hmm. that we were able to get out uh past december so what we're going to do is we're going to walk through uh some of the projects from december and then uh, we'll take a look at this, this week's, week's project, project and just kind of catch everybody up. We hope everybody had a festive holiday and had a great break. We hope you had a break and happy new year as well. Let's go ahead and jump into a quick thing that I've been prototyping. It's baby Declan. Yeah, he came on November 29th, right on Black Friday. Yeah, six pounds, 11 ounces. And I think he's done with his tummy time. Do a quick show of special all this prototyping guest. time that took. Special guest. You don't want to come in too, Brandon? <laughs> no. This little sleeping but you're baby. A great day. <laughs> Here's Declan. Say hi. Oh, I'm Tayo. I had all this tummy time. Oh. <laughs> so, everybody wondering who makes the makers? Well, makers make the makers. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So cool. Declan is joining Gavin and every, everybody in the A Fruit family. Hopefully he'll uh, be just like Gavin and keep on making little cool Lego stuff and all the like. Probably see him featured in little baby projects, maybe IoT, some okay. monitoring projects. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, come on. Yeah. yeah. I think it's my, yeah. my feeding Daddy time. Start making. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be seeing him throughout as projects come up and all that. I thought you were gonna like, put them on the overhead and really think like okay. <laughs> No, we already showed the stats. And oh. <laughs> uh, go to the second photo, yeah. There you go, the second photo. Here he is, there's a little baby Link, gonna help Gavin with some more cosplay yeah. projects. Like everybody says, man, they grow so fast, he doesn't even fit into this onesie anymore. Man, you <laughs> took this so picture sad. like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, he's already past his newborn clothes. Excellent. <laughs> Well, thank you for the update, and welcome to the world, Declan Rock Ruiz. Yay. Let's Very go cool. ahead and jump into all the usuals. Today's, okay. This week's coupon code is Thick Bezels. It'll save 10% off your order. Yeah, so please use it if you want to check out anything at Adafruit Shop. There's some new goodies. It supports all of Adafruit. Um, yeah. And uh, don't forget, there's also movies? freebies. They're still going on. Let's see if the website's going to load. Yay! <laughs> yeah. So the free uh, the freebies are kind of standard. We got for ninety nine dollars a Perma Proto half size breadboard. Orders that are two hundred or more, you get the breadboard and UPS ground shipping, continental US only. And then for two ninety nine, you get those two things plus a Circuit Playground Express. So that's um, while well limited, while well supplies last, but they've been lasting for a good while. So check out those freebies. They get added to your cart auto magically. Yeah, and here's the photo of it. Sweet. We also got same day delivery as an option for folks in New York City. We still have that going on. People are subscribing to the newsletter. So go to Adafruit, wait, adafruitdaily.com to uh, subscribe to all the different newsletters. Um, big shout outs to uh, the Circuit Python team coming out with awesome uh, weekly uh, newsletters, so check them out. It's a really great place to kind of see what all the community projects are happening. Um, so definitely subscribe to that one. Again, it's adafruitdaily.com. That means it's a standalone website and your account is not tied to it. I put too many A's in my Adafruit, so my link ain't working. It's still too many A's. There it is. All right, here it is. Sorry, it took a minute. Um, yeah, so you just click these boxes, add your email, and you're guaranteed to not get spammed because we don't do that. It's a promise. Okay. Circuit Python meetings are happening still every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. They happen live on the Discord 
server, Adafruit's Discord server. If you're new to Discord, you can check it out. The invite link is discord.gg slash Adafruit. Is my audio level okay? I feel like I'm low. Now you sound good? Of course, I had to move it. All right, so uh, discord.gg slash Adafruit, hanging out in the Discord server as well. So we can go there now. And you can uh, tune in to the CircuitPython meeting at, on Mondays at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a really nice way to uh, catch up with the latest happenings with CircuitPython. There's so much happening. And you can uh, contribute and stuff like that with uh, the core devs, chat with them. All right, I'll have to save Discord for later. because uh, I'm in there. Good. Pedro's in there saying hi. Howdy ho. All right, there's the Discord link right there. It's always up there. Yeah, OK. We still have jobs boards. Check out if you are a maker looking to get some gigs, maker gigs, check out the jobs board. It's free to uh, make a profile. And those are free for um, employers that are looking for maker uh, folks out there. So lots of great posts. All right. We want to catch up on the learn guides. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump okay. into, or do you want to do, start off with this week's first, or? No, I'll probably catch up to this week's. So if you go to the Learn system, you'll see it's got a new interface. It's got like more visual stuff, so it looks really nice. Um, and there's like more segment, segments and hero banners and things. So I think it's a little bit better to browse through. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives you an idea of uh, some of the different uh, segments or categories, maybe we can call them, educators, IoT stuff, Metro stuff. Um, accelerometer, magnetometer stuff, and, and it just continues in your inbox. So really nice uh, work by the team, the web team did a great job. Yeah, very nice UI, and a reminder, if you have an idea for a project, go ahead and type it into that search bar. We've probably done five different versions of it. Yeah, lightsabers, <laughs> five lightsabers. Yeah, everything, very cool. <laughs> anything you think of, it's probably Sweet. been done a couple okay. times. Um, would you do the coupon? We already did the coupon, thick bezel. Okay. Remember, it gets All you 10% right. off, expires at 11.59 p.m. tonight. It works on everything except subscriptions like Adabox and gift certificates. Yeah, you're right. All right, so here's the, we're going to catch up with the projects that we did on December. I think uh, late November, early December, we showed a little bit of this. So we made some uh, ornaments, some 3D printed ornaments for the Circuit Playground gizmos. Uh, currently, we have two different gizmos. We have one with the TFT display, one with the e-ink display, and we also made a, uh, an ornament just for kind of your regular circuit playground with no screen, um, which lights up and does really fun animations. Uh, so that was a really fun uh, project, very festive. Um, I got a really good handle on like snap fitting circular stuff, which yeah. was really my goal, um, just to really focus on snap fit stuff. And uh, I think I got a really nice recipe for doing uh, circular snap fits. Um, so for future projects, I'll be able to uh, kind of do them a little bit better, I think. Um, so this was a fun project uh, that, that did a lot of snap fit stuff. Um, so check it out. Um, yeah, very cool. So if it was an Adabox thing, right, the gizmo? So if you yeah, got your gizmo yes. and you haven't 3D printed anything for it yet, mm -hmm. this is a good one to do it. Could also remix it to do like a lanyard or something like that. Should be nice. So check it out. The slider project. Uh, I forget when this came out. Uh, it's probably a week after December. I don't know. Lots been happening. But huge shout out to Liz Clark. Uh, she's also a uh, learned guide author and a real author of books. And she has her own YouTube channel. And I asked if she would do the code, if she was interested in doing the code for this project. And she was really happy to do it. <laughs> um, Check it out if you are looking to get motion time-lapse uh, photography or videos. Definitely check out this build. Uh, we put a lot of work into it, and we hope uh, uh, folks build one. Also, a huge shout out to Melissa, who's on the Adafruit team. Uh, she designed the set of feet for the Luminum 2020 extrusions, and I printed those out. They fit. Um, it's over there, though. I'd show it off, but we have a lot of things to cover. But huge shout out to maker Melissa. I really like it when folks uh, contribute to the projects that we build, and that really makes it feel more like it's uh, a, a good project. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it was really, it's nice. Not a lot of people make add-on to it. It's like proof that the it. prints actually work. 
that's <laughs> a good one too. Yeah. So huge shout out to, of course, Liz Clark and Maker Melissa for helping their contributions to this project. So uh, now we just got to figure out what to do this year or next. Yeah, this year because we kind of did one every. No, not really. Anyway, um, it uses the tripler uh, feather wing with a couple of feather wings. It displays um, really nice bitmaps that let you know what the motor is doing. Um, and there's a whole video and build on it. I'm looking at the learn guide. I'm <laughs> trying to. So check it out. It's a really fun project. One of my favorite ones. And then a little bit after uh, that. Real quick, right before that. Sure. We, you have a layer by layer that specifically covers all of the circular snap fitting, right? Yeah, I need to do one. I have one that does snap fit PCBs that are circular, like the Circuit mm. Playground. You can find that in our layer by layer playlist. Um, it's like the, the second to the latest episode or something. Um, but specifically, I, circular snap fit is. I, it's on my to do. Okay, yeah, it's so definitely been requested. Request by Joel Spolanski on the YouTube yeah. chat. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to put one together. It is added to the list? It is added to the list, yeah. It thank is you on for the, the suggestion. List. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it lets me uh, know that uh, it's definitely something mm -hmm. uh, people want, need to know. So, uh, okay, good. <laughs> So uh, moving right along, moving right right after along. that. This uh, was a really fun one. It was a, another Philby collaboration, which is really fun. Paige, you put this together. You took an existing pair of goggles, you 3D printed some add-ons, and it looks a lot like the Watchmen, uh, the, the night goggles from mm -hmm. um, uh, Watchmen, the yeah, HBO the, series Watchmen. Yeah, the thing I really liked about this project was being able to uh, take existing hardware that's in the store, yeah. the goggles. We've been selling the costume ones for quite a while now, mm -hmm. and the way that we were assembling it before was just having all the electronics inside the goggles, like the eyepiece. Right. So you weren't able really to see out of that. So my goal was to use that so you're not 3D printing every bit of it, but yeah. just making attachments for it and then having it so you can actually see through them. So this was a really fun project to uh, work on in terms of making something that is from an existing series that was currently on. Yeah. Yeah, I think season two is coming up mm -hmm. and uh, it's a nice, uh, 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 when you see it, it's like, okay, that's NeoPixels, that's, you know, that's yeah. Adafruit stuff in it. So really happy that we were able to get the, a large portion of the Adafruit team to actually work on this. Uh, this is Ashley, who works uh, in the uh, New York office. That's right. And she was yeah. able to dress up and everybody get the costume. Andrew was able to uh, get some really nice photography out of that. And a uh, nice multi-material print, too. It's uh, Ninja oh, Flex right. for the, uh, the rubber uh, eyepiece that we take off with the nose bridge that right. is uh, connecting everything together. I think this is uh, uh, inserted into the center case there. And then we use all the existing stuff from the goggles that is, uh, just has 3D printed attachments to it. Yeah. Super fun project. It, it uh, really is. And it's, it's quite fun to play with the different modes and settings. That um, is just check out the code if, if you haven't. Yeah. Definitely check it out. It's nicely well documented. Lots of comments and very customizable, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this could be repurposed in a bunch of different projects. Huge uh, it doesn't array. have to be a wearable goggles. It could be something to add on to a vehicle, bicycle, yeah. skateboard. And then having the controls with the, rotary, with the rotary encoder on there to go through all of those different modes, that you're able to edit all of those yeah. modes right on there without having to go into code or anything mm -hmm. like that is amazing. So definitely yeah. check it out. Adapt it to any cosplay project that needs uh, multiple animations that are all controlled through a rotary, encro rotary encoder. Yeah, really, really fun. Um, yeah, shout out to Phil B for uh, just mm -hmm. making awesome NeoPixel code. And you can, it's uh, on CircuitPython. Did we mention that? <laughs> it's, yes. This that is the best is part. Is that it's Go to the modes and functions. Uh, uh, Isaac did an excellent job of documenting all of the different ways that you can get all the different animations, how to yeah. go through all the play modes. Yeah, so normally we don't have a whole page that documents how to use the modes. Mm -hmm. Like, this is excellent. So lots of different modes, um, colors, rainbows. Oh, man, it's so good. Like how to cycle through the yeah. uh, RGB and all that. It, the brightness on it. Uh, yeah. th these are modes so that we've been wanting for such a long time. Yeah, and to be able to control them with the onboard rotary encoder is really mm -hmm. fun. It is amazing. So excellent work, so folks. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. And you can see through them. <laughs> like, it's great. Yeah, great. Go work part. on wiring and figuring out the best way to kind of mm -hmm. make it so that it, it all fits. Yeah, tons of fun on this one. All right. And then after that, is it res? Yeah, then I made my own Another glasses. Another yeah. set so, of glasses. So uh, this was like, I think somebody pinged Lamar or just Adafruit on Twitter, or maybe she saw it on Twitter. Uh, I, I wasn't familiar. So res is a DJ musician who 
wears these awesome LED glasses um, on stage while she's performing. And they're just amazing. They got these little spirals going on, and they're just really, really nice. Uh, so uh, Lamar asked us if we wanted to build one. I was like, yeah, of course. These are amazing. So this is really neat. Um, the NeoPixel ring is like one board. So we, we carry these NeoPixel triple ring boards. They have a 44 through-hole NeoPixel LEDs. So the regular NeoPixels you can control uh, with whatever. Uh, uh, you control them with CircuitPython. <laughs> so uh, we're using the Itsy Bitsy M4 um, and like a LiPo backpack to, to do USB recharging. The code is by Phil B. He's like the, the dragon. And I have him here. I don't he's know what the NeoPixel about. Whisperer. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. he's the NeoPixel Whisperer. Um, this is a lot of fun to work on this project. Uh, I think it could be repurposed for uh, different things. When I originally got this ring board, the triple ring board, I wanted to add them to my bike. I wanted to make like a really cool like thrusters to my bike. And I, that's why I picked one of these up. And then when I saw uh, the, the res on, on Twitter and Instagram, I was like, I've seen this before. I've seen this uh, arrangement of, of rings. Uh, and it's funny that, uh, we, that we, we stock them. And we had forgotten. We kind of forgot that we, that Lamar was like, oh yeah, because she was telling me to, oh, you can use uh, the 24, the 16, and a, a, a jewel, which sure you could do that, but work, man, but... boy, golly, it's a lot of wiring and mm -hmm. a lot more complex, you know. It's just more time consuming. You can wire it up, but it's time consuming. So this board really makes it easy because it is a, a board with the 44 through hole NeoPixels. So you just have three wires coming out of it. Um, and it looks like that. There's these really neat kind of slots that allow you to see through them. And uh, there's uh, extra pads on there for uh, in and out, data in and out. So you can chain them as I did in, the, in this project. They're fun. Um, yeah, they're fun. There's no control ability to them. They just kind of uh, cycle through different random um, animations, but they're really neat animations. It uses the fast LED library for CircuitPython. So check it out. Again, by Phil B. Lots of great comments and things. So uh, you can get in there and play around with it. Really good project to kind of repurpose, I think. Um, so hopefully we get some cool makes out of this one. Excellent. So check those out. That was on the fence between 2019 and 2020. So. We thought we'd just release it on 2020. Yeah. Except we didn't make any 2020 glasses, but that was going to last for, what, one day? <laughs> That's funny, yeah. For New Year's Day. Yeah, these going to last forever. Excellent. Um, this week's project uh, is still being reviewed, <laughs> but the files are out there, so we released those. So just go to the admin and just show it off real quick. Or maybe I should just show it off over the overhead. So we got a bunch of new Pi Portals. Not a bunch. We got three Pi Portals now. We have Pi Portal Original. Pipe Portal Titano, which has a big screen, and the Pipe Portal Pint, which has a small screen. They came out like a week or two ago, um, and I wanted to make a, a case that looked <laughs> like a retro PC, like a little Mac, kind of classic Mac. So I made it for the Pipe Portal Titano, and then looking, I was like, well, there's a lot of Pipe Portals, and people are getting the Pint, so what if I can make them for all three? So we did that. <laughs> So I had to make sure that the CADs were set up parametrically so that you could scale them using uh, parameters, user parameters. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, it was challenging, too. Uh, but it, it helps reassure that uh, you can create a, an enclosure that has a really good structure for expanding and adding different parts to it. And that's what's really fun about this one. It's definitely going to get uh, some use out of it. Um, let's see if I can do overhead. Especially if we come out with different sized pipe portals. Yeah. So this is the pint one. I like this one the most because it's the smallest it's and the so cutest tiny. one. It's so small and tiny, but it's still kind of big, right? Thick bezels, coupon code. Uh, so what's neat is, uh, yeah, you got your ports on the side. Uh, it snap fits open, so you can snap fit there. There's no soldering required for this one because it's just a pipe portal and this little speaker. The little speaker uh, has, these are really nice speakers. Um, they're the little mini oval speakers. We use them in the lightsaber builds. They pump out a lot of audio when it's, combined with a nice cavity uh, for like amplification, I guess, yeah. So this press fits in there. The, they also have stickers. There's a little sticky backing on this side and this side here, uh, but I made it so that it press fits into, uh, into this piece here. Uh, and we got snap fits. So it's just really four parts, right? 
you got your back cover, you got your frame. This is, this is really nice with this frame. You have so much room in here. You can add a power boost, you can add a battery, you can add uh, buttons, a rotary encoder, potentiometer, all that sort of stuff. And then you have all these ports here on the back so you can hook up other sensors um, or, or components. So it's really nice. This is the pint, by the way, I think I said that. And I'm using machine screws here because I want it really nice and secure. Um, so it's nice and secure, thick bezels. Uh, so uh, it's interesting because uh, this is like the first closure I did where it has snap fits at an angle. So this is like at a, uh, I forget, 100 degree angle or something like that. <laughs> and uh, it worked out. You can print it flat like that and it prints. Wait, is that flat? I think it's like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see that it kind of steps here. Maybe not see it, but that's where uh, the cover goes. So that snaps there. And then this one has two snaps on the edges there. So it snaps like that. Very nice. Um, yeah, we're going to do more stuff with this. Uh, but this was just kind of like your generic one. You don't even have to do CAD stuff. You want to add a potential arm, you can probably drill holes into this and stuff and uh, have your way with it. Or you can remove stuff too in the CAD if you want to add different things to it. It's very, very reminiscent to like the Mac Pi that we did that had a Raspberry Pi, a PFT, um, a power boost and whatnot. But it's, it's, it's really nice because we're, we're at this point where we have everything on one board and then everything is just becoming plug and play. So there's not much soldering now, which is great because you can really quickly get these projects up and running. <laughs> I say that a lot in my videos. So uh, Pico connectors are fun. They're so small. There's an onboard speaker too. Um, yeah, so like I said, there's a version for the, the Titano, the original, Regular. and the Pint, so check those out. Yeah, if your speaker keeps popping out, definitely stick it using the sticky. I like to just leave it popped in there, though. It should stay there. Yeah, a little white part that you see around the ring of the speaker is actually a little sticker. Yep. A uh, little cover. Peel that off, mm -hmm. and it has adhesive on there. So I'll plug this in using my fully reversible USB cable. And you can plug that into a battery thing. Normally, this is going to sit on your desk, so that's why it's not uh, portable. But like I said, you can totally add a power boost in the back there. And I need to... Hmm. I'm going to troubleshoot my, my beta over there. <laughs> this is right in beta 2. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll work with it. Hey, yeah, it's a little hair. Yeah, no supports are, uh, required either. So 3D printing should be nice and, uh, nice and support free. And I think this is the running the weather app. Yeah. It's a side note. Uh, I'm working with Liz uh, to create a, 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 an update to the, to the weather station. It's going to be fun. So. Uh, that's something that's more of a in the works prototype segment, mm -hmm. but yeah. There's a couple of the Pi Portal projects in the works, so definitely stay tuned for that. Yeah. Really cool IoT planter one. That Sorry about the weather on. here. It's it's just gorgeous. <laughs> it feels pretty nice out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's terrible here. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the Learn Guide will be out hopefully later today. Yeah, a couple of people were asking where is Learn Guide. I did post the link to where it should be with the proper permalink. So, permalinks, like, so yeah. hopefully later today. Yeah. I think uh, waiting on it to be reviewed. Yeah. So yep, definitely yep, stay yep. tuned. The files are out there that. though on Thingiverse and Prusa Prints. Yeah, definitely subscribe to out. all of the Prusa Prints and the Thingiverse. Uh, just follow us on there. You can see mm -hmm. uh, we usually release those like uh, at midnight for all of the projects every Wednesday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Tuesday night. That's when all of those go out, so you can get those there. And if you haven't got yourself a Pi Portal yet, it's a really nice device. Definitely check it out. You can get 10% off with our thick bezel <laughs> coupon mm -hmm. code. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, and there's three, three different choices now to choose from. So uh, check out the links um, for the differences in them. Uh, let's see, what else? Let's go ahead and jump into this week's. Oh, one real, we really quick, really quick, last one. Oh yeah, this yeah. is a really cool one. Yeah, these snap fits uh, were really nice. So I wanted to make like a standalone 3D printed ornament that didn't have any electronics, so that it's more like a like a fun thing for folks to print, and they don't have to like buy electronics to to do it. So it combines the snap fit. It has a little bit of the fidget spinner kind of fidgetness to it. Um, and this, <laughs> funny enough, this one got like the most likes and the most makes like all year. Isn't that funny? Yeah, so you went ahead and made a jumbo size version of this. I did. <laughs> Let me get it. 
yeah, it's this pretty big. It's can scalable. definitely be adapted to whatever other holidays coming up. So Valentine's or something like that would be perfect. Yeah. It's going to take a couple days to print. So Two I definitely want to start mm. now. Uh, it it depends like. on what your resolution and your nozzle. If you, you print with a That's big, right. thick nozzle, like a 0.8 or a 1 mil. And this was a Pet G, so you did have to print a little bit slower. Yeah, I had to print it slower and hotter. But Pet G is cool. This is from Prusa Mint. They make PET G glittery red something something mm -hmm. it's really nice so definitely um, go big if you want to make a cooler version of this yeah uh, uh, you're make the small one <laughs> yeah, probably this small was one. was a fun one and just huge shout out to all the makes that uh, the people that posted their makes uh liz made a whole bunch of them uh redesign chess so cool. chess chess here made mm -hmm. like a whole bucket full of them that's so cool uh, and this person over here roy king low uh, strung them together and put them, I guess, on uh, some window or something. Very, very fun. It's it's neat. And uh, we even had a, uh, a a remix where people were making Ooh. their own inserts. So that's really awesome. cool to see uh, folks making their own inserts. So, mm -hmm. like I said, yeah, very cool. It's always interesting to see what uh, becomes a hit. Yeah, it's people it actually printing yeah. things out. Yeah, it's always a fun thing. Test, test your tolerances out on your printer. It's yeah. small, it's not gonna take too long. You can print different colors, and there's lots of little inserts that I designed for folks um, that you can make. I think I made a Jedi one too. You can see the little Jedi yep. right there. Very cool, that was fun, yeah. So, hope folks like that one. That was, that was fun. All right, uh, prototyping. This is what has Pedro been prototyping other than a lovely human child, <laughs> right? <laughs> So oh, I didn't, I didn't over know. the weekend. Do you want to use over the, weekend. The, over the break? Dude, you did this yesterday. Like likes tonight. <laughs> did it last night, but Lamar has been requesting some infinity mirror type projects. Yeah. And uh, should I just go to the angled view? Is that uh, better for you? Yeah. Okay. So one of the cool ones that came up, a really cool instructable user. I forget the name. Yeah, I got it open. All that. Yeah, Thomas. Check it out. You can start building one now if yeah. you want. Yeah. So Thomas. Uh, Posted up his Instructables uh, mm -hmm. fairly recently, like on Christmas, I think he published it. Uh, <clears throat> this one uses a high density NeoPix LEDs. Uh, it's got a good amount of wiring into it. Cause if you, you got do a, a quick scroll, you can see all yeah, of the- Yeah, this is sweet. So the frame is printed going, at an angle. Scroll, you can see how he chopped everything up. I was like, oh man, this is gonna be- Yeah, the wiring diagram is gonna be a little hard, bit man. Oh, how do I do this? Oh. Yeah, so one, yeah, that's one of the first cool. things that I always look at with like remakes of projects like how can i make this easier and more simpler to do sure uh, not have like a big old chunky arduino uno hanging out the side there or having to cut up all this stuff or having an acrylic and then getting the mirror thing and then squeegeeing it on there well it turns out that yeah, you can actually journey. have a lot you can simplify this pretty um easily okay. by just getting acrylic that already has a mirror stuff on there sure by having the NeoPixel sk the nan skinny NeoPixels just have the whole strip going around the entire thing. Um, and that vastly simplifies the project. So yeah. a quick little demo of what that looks like. Like it, you said, I did finish this last night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on. Eat, eat, so eat. it is a, there it what is, is it? One way, two way mirror. So you can see One that it's mirror. like a mirror, but when you turn lights on inside it, you can see through it. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, but before yeah. that, what's running on there is our lovely... Yeah, this is uh, Bitsy M0. Not the M4, just M0. And it still runs CircuitPython beautifully. Mm -hmm. We uh, have uh, just some demo code uh, to, for CircuitPython. So yeah, so these are uh, really thin pieces of acrylic you can cut with scissors. Yeah. That's really nice. Well, because you don't need like super strong power tool to cut this. You don't need a laser cutter. I don't know where um, I put our score for previous laser <laughs> or yeah, um, acrylic cuts. Yeah. So it was <laughs> nice and handy that we were able to just use the uh, yeah. super scissors that we have in the shop. Yeah. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So you yeah. plug this in, um, needs to be light differences for this to work. And then bam, you can see on the inside there. So it's a low density, but it looks really neat. It's got that marquee effect mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it looks great. The, that looks the wiring you're saying is, is so much more simplified where it's just two strips that are wired together. Yeah. And the, they're just daisy chained. This Actually, is it's mini one skinny. entire strip that's okay. all chained all the around the inside. And there's three little separate pillars. That I'm going to have to make like some 3D animation of showing how this is laid out because even trying to read the original instructable on this like was racking my brain. I was like, I need to Me simplify too. I was like, this. Uh, so like, this is not. Sorry, dude. I got to. <laughs> I know. I need to make this 
even easier than what the title Sweet. says it is. So it's still missing some things. We need a nice base. We'll probably yeah, that's another thing like too. At an angle, uh, really presentation nice. of you know yeah. remakes of projects is a big deal. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna make a base for this. So yeah. maybe even add like a servo or something. Have it spin around. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. All right. You want to simplify, not make yeah, it crazy. Yeah, you're right. But uh, yeah, very very nice. Uh, I like the acrylic. I didn't know that they had acrylic so thin in. Uh, with already mirror. applied uh, film, mirror mm -hmm. film, that, that simplifies it vastly. Yeah. So that's nice. You can cut it with scissors and just press fit. Those are press fitted in. They're not even glued in yet. Mm -hmm. um, I do kind of want to redo the we frame. Are, I am going to glue it in just so you don't have any of the distortions. If you can kind of see in there is sort of like a um, fun, what is a fun house effect yeah. where like some things are like distorted and stretched out. That's only because I'm, uh, yeah. of the press fitting yeah, yeah, in there. It's warped, yeah. Uh, some of the ways that he uh, suggested printing was like at a corner, at an angle, so you didn't get did like you all that? this crazy. I tried. Like, you did do that, yeah, and it failed. It kept, kept failing. Even with like Z hop enabled. Big so. brands. We did all the usual cures to keep the part on, but mm -hmm. it just wouldn't stay on. So, so what ended up working was just printing it flat like yeah, that. No, no support supports. material. It just let the <laughs> You're crazy go. man. No supports. Yeah, but awesome. It worked. Little simple. Uh, well, not so simple. Infinity. It's fun, yeah. Infinity the effect cube. is just so magical when you have it in your hands. I'm sure, you can see it on video, or and it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But when you have it in your hands, it really, know, it really like, feels magical. <laughs> yeah. So this will be next week's project. Yeah, super easy. Cool. Uh, hopefully, I'll have the base and all the man ribbon not spinning. Silicone ribbon cable. For the win, guys, of, for the win. This yeah, just one. interesting ways too, the way that I'm actually uh, siphoning the power off of this, just the way Oh, right, there. right, like in between. Yeah, I've never tried that before, and yeah. it turns out it works excellent, so. Cool. Oh, get that in the shot. Yeah. So, cool, mm. more LED Yeah, this will look stuff. great with, uh, the like, the res animations, where they're, like, <gasps> kind yes. of trickling and, yeah. and chasing. I want to definitely add the, some of the animations with, uh, uh, who did the pixel buff um, tower in there? Have some of those projection yeah, type great. stuff going on. Oh, it's gonna that'd look be so cool. cool. Yeah, maybe go more high dense. Uh, we'll see. I kind of like the low density. Yeah, uh, this me is too. 70 uh, new, uh, 70 pixels on there, so yeah, it's right. not too memory, uh, not hogging too much memory. Right, especially with M4. Okay. Very next cool. Week. So check it out. Awesome. Learn Guide is uh, in the works, and you can also uh, create Thomas's version too. If yeah, you'd you like. can go ahead and start printing the frame right now because it takes like ten hours of print. Yeah. Uh, if you're I kind of wanted to remake it so that it's smaller and support free. I kind of like this size. You like it? Okay. Yeah. Cool. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> and then maybe we can stock some of this acrylic. I don't know. A mm. lot of um, mm. magic mirror projects is what this is used for. Sure. And yes. like I was saying before, it's a lot easier than having to apply film and you yeah. know, get your soap and water and getting all the bubbles out. This <laughs> is just like, I, I like literally bubbles. cut it with an X-Acto knife and scissors, like you were saying, to yeah. get all the precision on there so it doesn't break as easy as I would think it would if you're up, you know, cutting mm -hmm. it with scissors. So it's excellent cube. material. In the works. Q. Next week. All right, we're gonna jump into Comuna de Makes. We showed a little bit of the community makes. We'll show it. We have so many. We're gonna run through them. Yanni is saying that I should add the board on the inside. I actually thought you of thought doing that. Yeah, having like an extra, uh, another piece of the mirror in there, so it like sort of uh, hides it or camouflages the board in there. Yeah, that'd be neat. But um, yeah, I I'd think probably like on the base stand. or something, yeah. just to I don't know. Yeah, you're gonna definitely see something in there if you put something in there. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But cool idea. Yes. All right, community makes. I need a song for that. Yeah. So, and Charles is saying, yes, it is really nice down here in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. rub it in anybody's face. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> I feel for the people in, up there in the north. Okay, people of the north, the kings of the north. Okay, this is a remix of our geodesic lampshade. Really nice. Uh, they took just the outer base, I guess, and made it work with the E27 socket. Um, yeah, I, I, Ooh, I'm glad somebody made it. Nobody's awesome. made it. Nobody's posted a make yet. Mm -hmm. My version was a little bit, you know, how am I going to do that? Because it requires dual extrusion. You could print them out separately, but it's designed as a, as a dual extrusion print. Um, but I like uh, this version that the uh, person made. Sorry, person. Thingiverse is super slow. I'm not supposed to click anything. I forgot. I know. Yeah. 
The only way I'm able to anyway. get everything is through the RSS feeds on there. Look, somebody made the Star Trek communicator, Pedro. Uh, TOS. <gasps> yeah, so uh, they say, I love this mod from Adafruit, but I really want the communicator, not the electronics. So I combine the two body halves, trim down, Ooh. scale it down, match the size of the actual units nice. from the show. Here is the Hercom site for specs. So there's actually a website, point of reference to get Excellent. real specs of the actual thing. That's so cool. So uh, here's the make. It looks really nice. And Wait, does he have the LEDs going off on there? He said no electronics. Uh, I yeah. think that would be cool he just, just to have the LEDs going off. That's great. Off. I'm glad somebody um, made it, even if it doesn't yeah. have electronics. It's fine. Um, and uh, some nice notes and things. So check it out. Thank you, uh, Bam Ba Mako Jeff. But Mako was a Jeff. really fun one too. Yeah, it was. Using... It actually made phone calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It only called one person. It called. Yeah, Bill. you can just <laughs> program Bill. one thing. <laughs> that's great. No, that's yeah. This was really fun because we were using um, the other mill to do to CNC oh, the yeah. metal parts. The we were metal using part. the bronze filament, so mm -hmm. the, that part was actually nice and shiny. That's right. Yeah, that's pretty and cool. Then, Retro. Like you're saying, it's and you know what's the using best part? The Ting SIM card for all of the yeah for the real. You know, cell phone communication, all that. Yeah, I had a joke, but no oh, thick doesn't. bezel. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a joke. Yeah, it has a, it has a thick bezel. Oh, and uh, happy birthday to Kirby. Kirby. Yay. I, I don't know how to say it. Greasy. Grease. Grease. Grisey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kirby. <laughs> Next up. Next up is a lightsaber. This is just the the hilt, but uh, it looks great. Um, I designed this for both dual and non-dual extrusion, and uh, Mr. Factor X here posted it up as a single extrusion. It looks great. You can paint nice. it, you can sand it, you do all sorts of yeah. stuff with it. Check it out. I feel like Post a nice on mirror things. finish type sanding on it. Mm -hmm. We got a Highland Shield from hey. Legend of Zelda. Check that out. Very fun one. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks like it's been cut in four mm -hmm. quadrants, so folks can cut it up and print it however they Very like. Cool. And then here it is oh, on the wall. Which is great. Very nice. Very cool. All right, and then this is um, from... Oh, she's been on the show until before. I know, I'm sorry. I Amelia? Remember. Amelia, sorry, I forgot is her it? name. For a second there, I forgot her name. Yeah, Amelia is also a Learn Guide uh, author. She has some really stellar wearable projects. She's been on the show until, like Peter said. And she made a remix of the Gemma M0 case that we did. It has a button. It has like a spot for a button, which is really nice, a little big opening there. Always need a button. Yeah, for, uh, I guess, like wearable stuff. That's so cool. Yeah, and she has a... Uh, a blog where she has Ooh. more um, things of it in use. Resplendor oh, is her handle. Very nice. Yeah, so oh, that's such is. a good idea. Isn't that cool? Why not think about this? Yeah, Amelia's <laughs> awesome. This is why we give away all the files. So yes. All the, 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 the edits, files. contributions. I love with all those. Yeah, this is great. She does a great job. I um, like she's using together the, her uh, little fan, too. Yeah, and it's pink. Oh, that's dope. I'll make her I'm Melissa her is saying that uh, Amelia is an awesome person. She got to meet her at Supercon. Oh, that's great. She also mentioned that uh, giving away all of the Fusion 360 files uh, made it a lot more easy to remix, which is exactly why we give yeah. all those away, because right. we know that... For a while, too, we were only giving away like the Fusion 360, but we do a really hard time to get really... All the step We spend files. time to get the step files out mm -hmm. there, too, because we want everybody, not just with Fusion 360, but... It, you know, STLs are great too, but those yeah. those step files really help out if you're doing this is uh, on shape, open shape, whatever shape. <laughs> I'm yeah. just trying to go over the. A this joke. is for future us as well because yeah, you know, what if yeah, you know, what if Dropbox what if, goes down and we lose all our files or something? We'll true. have copies of those everywhere, hopefully. Yeah. All right. So shout out to Amelia. Okay, we got one more stuff. Uh, the heat press insert. This was a fun tool that we made um, that helped us do heat press, heat inserts, heat set inserts for 3D printed parts and getting them really secure. Uh, so a person over here, Welder Fab, posted this up and did its own uh, did his own thing to it or something. No, probably adjustments for the yeah, just, yeah. Um, solder iron. It's probably the sure. most. Well, in my uh, own brace from steel scrap uh, gotcha. around the shop, but plywood and other. Okay, would work. Yeah, excellent. So yes, very, very nice. Uh, some real quick ones. We got Mario Boo Planter. Those are always fun to do. Oh, it's yeah. just a, the, the blue <laughs> a it's planter. It's a nice little fun project. Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> remember the Pie Girl 2 had oh, a giant yeah. thing, and this person here oh, nice uh, uh, made a cover. That's funny. It's useful. Uh, this is a nice practical print. Uh, if you got yourself a Apple TV remote, maybe over the holiday. This is a little bumper that we made when we got our It Apple has TV. saved our remote. 
so many times yeah. until Gavin finally dropped it like the hundredth time and it finally got the glass no. to break. Dang it. <laughs> or to chip I at least. Link. Anyway, there's a cool gif of it like being all flexible. The great uh, use of uh, Ninja Flex material. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see the person here just crushing it with his hand and it's not phased. Also, uh, that's nice. Look at that overhang. Yeah. That's pretty good. Those are some, some nice stuff. layers. Yeah. Dang. Wow. What are settings? Printed on a Lowe's bot mini too. There you yeah. go. Nice. Prints uh, Ninja Flex really nice. All right. Let's keep moving. A Christmas tree for the Circuit Playground. Yes, yes, we did that one. Uh, to uh, 2018, yeah, last year. Uh, so this person here, um, um, Michael M, posted up uh, a thing of it. Uh, I don't have much of a story. There's no text, but hey, thanks for the post. It looks like it's uh, a transparent green. All right, the Mac Mini. Somebody made a Mac Mini. Excellent. This uses like the old Pi, I want to say. I don't even remember, sorry. But hey, we kind of have one like this week. Kind of looks like that, but it uses a Uh So this was printed on the Prusa. Didn't need supports. Maybe it did. I don't remember. But cool. Thank you for posting that. Steph91. Another Apple TV remote. This was printed in, um, oh wow, I guess NinjaFlex on uh, Ender 3. This would not fit if it was not NinjaFlex. Yeah, it wouldn't work. You're right. Unless he edited it. Good point. It. Yeah, it's all in French. I don't have time to translate it right now. All right. And then uh, we have the Pi Zero case. Always fun. Always fun. It's always useful. It's handy. Coffee and fuzz. Came out mm. nicely. Bit of extra foist to get it in the case, but it looks good. Yeah, tarnishes are, tarnishes are a B.I. Yeah, they're all different twin yeah. printers. It's amazing when they do work. <laughs> you know what I mean? So thank you, um, Coffee Fuzz. Stan Did you make this? You posted this as a remix or something. Somebody po posted it up, excuse me. Um, time to wise up, posted this up. It's the uh, Skull Santa hat. I believe I, you all did I something. did was chop off the top so you could print it in two different pieces. Okay. You made it easier to print. Supports. Yeah, Excellent. you just print it upside down. Excellent. Um, well, the skull it's, part anyway. It's, a, it's posted as a remake, so you can get the original designer's mm -hmm. cred in there. Um, yeah, printed on Creelty Ender 3. Have it ready for next year. Yeah. I saw somebody post that Disney's already posting like 300 whatever days till next Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the countdown Only 300 is already whatever started. days till Halloween, too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Halloween's coming first. All right, well, that is all the stuff. So we did community makes. Um, we missed uh, the time lapses. So Pedro kept doing time lapses. So the first one was Baby Yoda. Internet sensation, from, uh, baby yeah, Yoda. From uh, Man The Mandalorian. Obviously that struck a Disney chord Plus. here with, you know, just having a child. I'm sure every new dad is like, I'm Mando. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so excellent little print Mando's here. Good. Nice uh, use of, uh, you know, getting dexterity and painting him. There are a ton of different remixes. So you can get this all separated if you don't want to do any painting or just want to print it all in different colors. But I like the meditation of painting all this. How'd you get this time lapse? This looks great. Must have been some sort of slider project. Yeah, huh? it must have been a, <laughs> a, a circuit python slider. So again, super fun. That's fun painting. With painting. Yeah. Uh, it's just acrylics. The like the shiny, like what like the fifty cent acrylic paint that you get at dollar Walmart. Store. Oh it's probably even cheaper at the dollar store, yeah. But Very neat. Fun yeah. print. You, I, I think the latest one right now is the one where he's in the in the uh, little crib and he's floating with the magnets in it. Oh my goodness, Super fun. I didn't yeah. see that one. Another thing too that we were testing here was the supports uh, turned on to everything. I wanted to see how easy it was to remove this. Was it? Uh, it was a little hard. The settings, I didn't break it. The settings that I uh, should have applied was having the extrusion width down to 0.3 for the support materials. Hmm. And that's it. Yeah, just having the, the extrusion width for the supports be a little bit more thinner. Okay. So it's easier to break off. Cool. Other than that, uh, it can be done uh, if it is set the the default of 0.4. Excellent. And excellent little. Yeah. Shout out to Jay for posting this up as a free download. There's a couple other really nice downloads out there. Yeah. Uh, a couple of folks are, are posting them up uh, with their their patrons and stuff. So you can you have lots of different options for Baby Yoda. That's great. Because right now you can't buy a Baby Yoda. You have to three print them. They sold out. Within yeah, you got you picked minutes. up one of the plushies from the yeah. Disney online, and mm -hmm. yeah, they sold out. Yeah, okay, so um, a truck came out from Tesla. Well, it was announced by Tesla. 
uh, either the cyber truck I'm sure you maybe heard about it I think maybe everybody not. ordered one of these <laughs> uh, a couple of folks ordered so them. we're gonna see hundred dollar order like in two years we're gonna see the dystopian themed yeah. future of everybody driving these trucks yeah, around like oh I want to be the only one driving one it's like well I've just yeah. So anyway, this was a great uh, little thing, model. The thing I like about this model is the wheels. But since this release, there's been a lot of them released with like the trunk opening yep. and having um, like a little bit more man innovation design is, accurate. Is going crazy here. Mm -hmm. I've seen a, a build with actual yeah acrylic um, yeah. Uh, windows, uh, LED LEDs bars, on the and very yeah. very nice. I, I myself pondered, oh cool, I could put a feather in there with a motor and make a real controllable one with a NRF 52A40. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't know if I want to do that. So. I did find somebody who uploaded a shell where it's mm -hmm. just the shell you could put on an RC car. So that might come up. Mm -hmm. It's always that, you know, decision. Oh, do we make the the Star Wars little mouse droid or oh, do we right. do the Tesla yeah, truck? It's still, uh, uh, which one do we do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's tough to uh, pick one. Yeah. Um, but one of these will definitely be coming out with the yeah. so Andrew Ask the Blue Bean ASCII doll. I think works at Thingiverse. Oh, excellent. So yeah, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, printed with like uh, filamentums, glittery stuff. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're going to trade in our Model 3 and get this because the Model 3 is actually, or the, the hey, truck is cheaper than the Model there. 3. We're, we're going to look at that Model Y as well. Yeah. We'll yeah, see. I'm kind of tired of the wings opening You're up. You're tired of the wings? Yeah, well, I mean, when the sun shines on, it's like, meep, meep, meep. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I detect something there. It's like, dude, yeah. there's nothing Are you there. Are sure it's not the MCU that we can <laughs> swap? Yeah. Anyway, folks, um, EV cars are great. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Bill Binko saying, yeah, make a shell for those. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, that'd be a fun one. Continuing Shout on out. the... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see a theme here even continuing into a next week. We're swapping between like Tesla stuff and Star Wars stuff. So uh, was it last week or week before? Has anyone made a, an RC Tesla Cybertruck that has so. a Baby Yoda in the driver's seat? I think the okay. guys over at Test Flight did. <laughs> I'm pretty the sure they did. I don't know if they put Baby Yoda in there. So here's the uh, Mando helmet uh, designed by Damask Props. This is an excellent one piece. Uh, did you all see that? The, the print actually failed. Peyton printed this upside down. Yeah, I had to print this upside <laughs> down, uh, but the time lapse for that, you can't tell what is printing. So right, I went with this down, one. Like, here's yeah. a block. Somebody was asking, how did you get the to sink or to lay flat? It wasn't laid flat. That's uh, so you just sink it into the bed. So just go um, like negative five and it'll sink into the bed and you'll have a completely flat in, uh, bottom. In Slicer? In Cura? In Cura. Okay. And then uh, you can actually select in your rotation options for that. You can actually select like which plane to go flat on and it'll attempt to flatten it out. But the little yes. pieces near the front there are not completely flat. So you just yeah. sink that down. into the bed. Okay. So there's one option flat. in Cura that you have to check off. It's something about always keep model on bed. Yeah. You have to turn that off, otherwise your model will not sink into the bed. Yeah. So that's one option in there. Somewhere in there in the settings. Do I, uh, somebody's asking, where did you see that Cybertruck shell? Uh, it will be posted as a blog post. Uh, if I can yeah, while Pedro get to pulls it. it up, I'm gonna talk about the, the Tesla ATV, the quad, the Cyber Quad. We don't know much about the Cyber Quad because there wasn't much about it in the announcement. So everything I print I do for like testing stuff, again, this was another. Let's see how good the support materials will print with it yeah. turned on to support on everything. You know? So I was very surprised that all of these little, uh, what are they called, the things that are holding the, the wheels, the axles and all that printed very well. Nice structure, like strength wise. Yeah. Nothing fell apart while I'm like pulling out the support material for that it's a little chunky but it works yeah so i just scaled it up all one i think 300 percent oh and yeah all one piece um 0.2 millimeter uh, 0.2 for the layer height uh but yeah i'm super surprised uh the this was on the cr 10 s pro and this very is happy a, that all these little details printed yeesh. out without you know the resolution came out yeah uh, i was gonna say about the filament it's actually Silky PLA, mm -hmm. I guess is what they call it. Silky silver PLA um, from, I forget the supplier. Everyone? Is it everyone? Everyone? Er, er, everyone? Er, <laughs> one uh, is a filament we picked up on Amazon. It's low, low cost as well, it's like $20. Dude, the 
price for filament is just like $20. dropped. Yeah, you <laughs> and I see people bucks. posting on like the craft groups on Facebook that's like, hey, you can fill it up at Michael's. Walmart. Oh, at Michael's, Michael's now. Okay, so. at that Walmart. Or yeah, Michael's to... is an artsy crafty store here in the States. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, very cool. Uh, shout out to, uh, is it Unique Design? Oh, was on there, I forget. It, there's a... <laughs> There's a credit in here in the actual video. <laughs> it's designed by a person. Hey, just pulling up nice the, little uh, fun one. Oh, link I for the shell. About that one. Uh, it's fun. You got it. Gyroid in there So nice. Yeah. I want Toby. Oh, it's been taken down. <laughs> it's 404 on Thingiverse. Oh, yeah, yeah. I downloaded it, so. Maybe I'll post hey, it as a remix. I don't or know something. about that. The, you have to respect the wishes. Oh. I don't I'll know look what at the, the wishes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. There's a nice tutorial on how to design one in Fusion by uh, Desktop Makes, Vladimir. Yeah, that's true. It's on the Adafruit blog if mm -hmm. you'd want. I have it in my watch. Uh, I think later. he gives away the step files as well, too, so you can um, go in there and does it. Mm, maybe? Yeah. Maybe? He, he, he released an ornament as well, a Cybertruck ornament, which is really fun. We reached the end of the show, I think. Yeah, just going over the uh, comments in the Discord. Dio20 is saying for the Star Trek communicator, it'd be awesome to give it more capabilities, like a preset list of numbers that you can uh, select by turning the dials. That's a really good idea. I'm sure this will come back up as that's a, a Circuit redo. Python phone. Circuit Python phone, yeah. Link a phone. I'm sure that's like on the list somewhere. That, yeah, maybe we have like a yeah, maybe two mile long ones. list of projects that we eventually get to, so I'm sure that one will be mm -hmm. uh, worked on coming up. Uh, De Wooster is saying that he made the uh, iron stand as well, along with Melissa. She made it as well. The what stand? The solder um, insert oh, stand. Oh, he did? Cool. That's a very nice one. Uh, oh, <laughs> Bill Binko is saying to get those cars that drive up walls, put it on one of those. That is a good idea. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Dwister is saying that he modified the, um, the iron holder to fit an older iron. That's the most common remix of that. Everybody has different uh, diameter soldering irons. Battery is still good. Yep, still good, folks. You can wear them over your normal glasses. They're heavy, I have to say. <laughs> I wish they weren't so heavy, but hey, you have a battery. Totally electronics in there. Um, Andy Calloway is saying somebody's definitely going to make like vinyl stickers, um, like broken window type vinyl stickers for the oh, Cybertruck. That's, <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> It'll go down in history. Uh, Michael's, yeah, I saw someone post. They actually had one of those circular planner uh, 3D printers as well. The one that like prints oh, on the a polars. disc. Yeah, the, the polar, polar coordinate. coordinate. coordinate type printers. Oh, and Bill Binko is sharing a... Uh, hey, his IntelliKeys. Yeah. Um, Bill. Very cool. Yeah, we've got to put that up awesome. on the blog. Very nice work, sir. These are awesome. Oh, um, there is some um, code being written uh, that Bill Binko you will like. It is uh, CircuitPython BLE um, HID keyboard controls. Mm, mm -hmm. So uh, Scott is uh, helping helping out, writing some demo code for that with John Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see, yep, now he's saying about the board being inside the frame and hide it with an additional piece of the plexiglass. That's a good idea too, having magnet connectors on there. Huh, mm. so they just oh, snap man. in. Yeah. I think for the lightsaber build, I want to do the uh, the pogo pin approach. Oh yeah! So my my, my goal is to for that. is to take the, uh, the the three watt LED lightsaber build, take that hilt design, and add the pogo pin stuff for the blade. So the blade will be a NeoPixel strip, um, and I really like the hilt there because it's definitely more ergonomic mm -hmm. for your hand to hold and swing around. And then you have instant access to USB with the bottom pommel just unscrewing. It's a little bit difficult to uh, uh, to uh, reprogram the original lightsaber build. Oh, also shout out to uh, 
I mean, I didn't have time to pull, pull up their, uh, their mm -hmm. videos, but we blogged about it. Um, B uh, Bill Doran from Ponish Propped and uh, Sophie Wong yeah. collaborated on doing some lightsaber builds. They, mm -hmm. they came out with a nice uh, set of videos and like uh, some posts as well. Star Wars on, uh, season. Ponish huh? Props. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's the whole Skywalker, the Revenge of Skywalker. Oh, and since everybody's uh, talking in the Discord on, just a couple people in Florida here. Uh, well, Dwester, Mad Blogger. Hey, AT. Oh, especially Bill. Yeah, Bill. So the next time that we're oh, going to hey, be Bill. off for a month we... uh, in May or June, we're going to move to Orlando. Yes, that's the plan. Yeah, so that's we the plan there. Um, I have, I think, at least four printers that I need to give over to you, Bill. Mm -hmm. So please make room for them. <laughs> yeah, or, or look around for folks that need them. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, set that up again. I, I'll just donate to you and I'll let you figure out what... what schools and robotics teams and all that. Yeah, it really helps us out. Uh, it's going to be Ultimaker, the, one of the Flash Forges. You have to say which ones right now. And I forgot the other one. One of the other ones. So I will be, those are ready for you. So around May, June, I already picked out, I think it's around, I was saying about West Haven is what we're looking at, the area around there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's probably the next time we'll be off for like, you know, a couple of weeks or something like that as we make the move up there. If we want to be closer to all the all the cool stuff around there in, our, in Orlando, like Kennedy Space Center, obviously Disney and all that, all the theme parks. There's lots of really cool ideas with, uh, you know, they're all, you know, customers. They all use our code and our, you know, all our hardware and all that. It'd be nice to see what they're working on so we can uh, yeah, get more ideas center. for, you know, DIY yeah, yeah. builds of whatever the parks are working on. <clears throat> and I think that's it. Let's lots of uh, <laughs> lots of discussion going on in the Discord. So well, thank definitely you. check that out. We will be back here later tonight for show and tell. Yeah. Oh, in my room. Uh, do the, uh, the oh, screen. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, I just like wearing them. They've they've made me feel special. So, uh, show and tell happens every Wednesday night at seven thirty p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> and right after that, it is Ask an Engineer. Right at eight p.m., full hour of Lamar and Phil going over all of the crazy, awesome new products that are coming out. Oh my this God, is why I couldn't stop working. <laughs> That's funny. You went on per, uh, parental leave. I could not stop working because you see all the you know GitHub commits going on yeah. it's like holy crap there's some awesome stuff coming down the pipeline yeah that's fun mm -hmm. and then ask engineer oh you reset that yeah yep uh what else oh tomorrow jp never stopped he kept doing the show yeah he kept going too <laughs> that's really I great mean, we love this job yeah last so. week was really nice i had a nice retrospective he did like 60 or 70 guides mm -hmm. all that's last a lot year of guides, which is yeah. a lot a lot of pepper a lot a box a lot a lot, a lot mm -hmm. of very good work, John. Boxing stuff. That stuff is not easy. So definitely tune in every Thursday at 4 p.m. to our John Parks workshop. I just saw earlier in the morning that Make Code Arcade is now out of beta. So mm -hmm. it's uh, available for general use. Definitely yeah. check that out. Super cool. And that's going to do it. We'll do the show next week on another Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Bill Binko's asking, West Haven Villas? Uh, it, I don't know what division it is, because every time I look on like Zillow or on uh, Google Maps, it's either it's listed as Davenport or Champions Gate. So it's the one that's around that area, yeah. uh, mostly because of the, um, the school that's like right there by the, there's three neighborhoods that are around that area. Maybe Bill can help us show, show us around or something. Yeah, yeah we'll, 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 we'll be up there like in May or June. Mm -hmm. to the plan is to get like a Airbnb and, and spend some time there. And yeah, I want to see scout. the neighborhood and all that. Uh, or you have some things that I don't want that are in this neighborhood. Like I don't want on-street parking. That makes drives us nuts. Everybody blocking the street. <laughs> All right, we're, we're on over time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you folks so much for joining us. Again, we got a coupon code THICK BEZEL. Yes. Get you 10% off your order. There's another one tonight. Don't forget, Ask Engineer. I like their code better. There's always better. Oh, yeah, because it's close to when all of the new products drop. Yeah, I know. I wonder if uh, that board will drop. Yeah, you may. <laughs> all right, well, that this was sense. fun, and we need to eat now. All right. See you guys next yeah, thanks week. Thanks so much. We wish you luck with all your maker endeavors, of course. Uh, but until next time, you got to remember to make a great day. See you tonight. Bye.